everybody so let's today talk about hormonal acne we all know what hormonal acne looks like it's that very painful those pimples that hurt when you touch them and sometimes they're big in size and sometimes they're small so often you'll see on a teenager they're tiny tiny especially up here but um, and they spread down onto this part of the face but hormonal acne it always hurts when you touch it so any pimples you get on the face anywhere on the face even on the decollete or the back if they hurt when you touch them they are hormonal and you can get them at any age you can have them as a teenager into your 20s 30s 40s 50s while ever there's hormones going on so um, hormonal acne you know acne comes from the overabundance of the male hormone and so it's when you know there's more male less female as you get older very often um, or if you're on you, you go on a contraceptive pill or something that's estrogen you can level that out but but it's that male hormone that um, gives gives us acne so you know often someone who has hormonal acne too they very often have the fine hair but the hair is darker on the face so that's why you know it's it's very important everything you're doing to your face on a topical level to make sure that you're doing it right and you're doing a really good job so with hormonal acne too what there are certain foods that you want to stay off and that's going to be i'll usually take my clients off beef um, the less red meat you eat the better and any of the you know chickens turkeys anything that's injected with hormones you really want to stay away from that uh, there's also eggs you know some of the dairy is not fantastic even for hormonal acne so those are the the really major ones that I take you off the things that help also which is a very strange food um, is kale now kale is great for guys that are wanting to build muscle kale okay I know it sounds crazy but kale is good for guys and building their testosterone okay so if you are someone that has hormonal acne stay away from kale as well and the other thing that I think is always good to stay away from because there's often a lot of inflammation with acne now if someone has you know pimples on their face they're painful to the touch and and they have a lot of ruddiness around the pimple there's a lot of inflammation then I would suggest that people stay off the inflammation foods as well which is going to be your tomatoes your bell peppers your spicy your red wine in particular those those ones in particular um, you know any sort of fatty foods and things to uh, are obviously not great for one's uh, diet and body type when someone's experiencing acne but but mostly it is staying away from those hormone foods the red meat and staying you know also away from the inflammation foods if you have a lot of ruddiness with it if you have a lot of inflammation now what do you do when you um, have hormonal acne like how do you treat that so some of the things that you can do topically is you want to make sure that your cleanser is a really good non-foaming cleanser a gel gel a type cleanser is great you want to clean your skin really well making sure you get under any fine facial hair because with hormonal acne is often fine facial hair so you want to make sure you're cleaning your skin really good and you have to do it really good at night time I always say count to 30 seconds and then get a warm wet washcloth and take it off so do it really well if you're wearing sunblock and makeup repeat it do it a second time another 30 seconds rinse that cleanser off the other thing that you might want to have is an exfoliant one that has a buffing effect on the epidermis don't use ones that's got little granules you don't want to be breaking and cutting and spreading infection you want to keep the skin soft and supple so use one that has an absorbing effect that looks more like a cream but absorbs dead cells and that's going to have the papaya enzyme maybe a little glycolic so it's going to have your enzymes in it but it's also going to have your chemical exfoliants and that absorbs dead cells and it keeps the skin really clean the one thing when you have a lot of fine facial hair you want to make sure that you keep the hair follicle clean because infection breeds in those hair follicles so it's really important to do the circular motions get under that hair and keep it really clean want to make sure you're doing is that you are using a serum or a moisturizer something that keeps your skin soft and supple and hydrated you don't want it overnourished but you want it hydrated 
and you've got to keep that skin soft and supple so anything can get out it's really important um, things that are healing that's maybe got your um, aloe in it um, maybe it's got a, a little bit of your um, your if you know if, if you've got inflammation you might want a little bit of vitamin p vitamin k um, you want to have something that's got a little salicylic in it, maybe a little bit of glycolic, lactic, azelaic acid, you know, any of those acids that are really good for sensitive skin. Um, because, a, a, you know, a skin hormonal acne is painful and it's sensitive, very often very sensitive because it's being used and abused and stripped. Um, stay away from the drying things like the benzoyl peroxide and the things that on its own are really drying on the face that make the skin tight and squeaky clean. You've got to keep your skin soft and supple and clean, really important. Um, the other thing that's really good is you want to have a pimple cream. You know, you, you want your moisturizer that you can use everywhere that's non-comedogenic, that's healing. But you also want a pimple cream, and that one you definitely want some salicylic acid in it. You know, it might have a little bit of the, the benzoyl peroxide within that one, but a pimple one is going to be a spot treatment. So you need a spot treatment so that if you feel a pimple coming up, you've got something right there to start putting on it. And uh, But again, don't fry it and burn it. Don't burn the skin because then you're going to be left with a mark. So, so you need your cleanser, you need to exfoliate a couple of times a week, you know, you need your serum, something that's healing and soothing that um, is going to keep your pore size small, but just help with any, any scarring. Um, it might be a little bit of a brightener in it, might have some, you know, arbutin or some licorice extract in it, kojic acid, something that's going to help keep the skin tone even because often with those big ones, they leave a mark and, and affects the melanin, um, you know, deeper within the skin because they are deep and they're very painful. Um, and then you might just, you know, you've got your pimple cream that's got a little bit of salicylic, maybe a little bit of glycolic in it. Um, and that's your spot treatment ice use ice a lot you know if you feel a nodule coming up a painful nodule go get that ice out and ice your skin a few times a day but as soon as you feel pain of a pimple coming start icing your skin because that really helps it's healing it helps inflammation and then also maybe you want to get like a soothing mask something that's calming and soothing that you can do on the couple of nights a week you're going to exfoliate your skin do a mask up after that you know, even, even collagen's really healing, hyaluronic acid's really healing. You want to keep the skin supple. You, you want it not to get dry. You don't want to dry and fry your skin. That's the worst thing you can do. You've got to keep your skin soft and supple. And then, as I said before, and just stay away from those foods. Um, that's how I work with hormonal acne and uh, it, it works really, really well. Um, of course, it's great if you, you can get extractions done. You do not want to be extracting yourself because very often you might be squeezing things that spreads infection underneath. Um, but, but just keep your skin really clean and don't over clean it. Don't over clean it with over stripping it. Don't over strip. It's really important. Keep your skin hydrated, not over nourished. And, and protect it from the sun because if you get sun on scars, it makes them worse too. So you've got to make sure that you've got um, a sunblock that's healing. You know, one that maybe has your zinc oxides in it, your titanium, um, your physical blocks are great for, um, for acne. And I really like the minerals too, the powder minerals, La Belladonna or Color Science. They've got the rich ones in the retractable brush. You can't contaminate them, which is great. They're super healing and they're a great cover. For a pimple so that's what you need to know when you have hormonal acne guys it's um you've got to have patience you know it takes a little time but pimples come and go pretty quickly but it's the marks that are left so you don't want to burn and fry your skin just remember that don't use things that are too strong too drying just you know take it easy um, because it's that mark that's going to be hard to get rid of if you burn it too much so, um, so that's what you have to do for hormonal acne. So like and subscribe. I'm also on Instagram. And uh, so if you want to see more tips, I'll be back to see you all soon. Bye.